Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new TikTok piercing fail video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the Darjeeling, the Lapsang, Sushon, the Scalding Hot Assam? What is the tea? It's coffee. So I know what you're probably thinking, really. Don't you look dashing in your one shoulder sleeve top and you would be wrong. But today I am nursing a new tattoo. It's kind of a bit shiny because it's got lotion on it, but I got my left side of my chest tattooed. We've got the crusty colored in and the Bart. I also did more on the back as well. So we got Mr. Burns colored in and we also colored in the snowball too at the bottom as well. So I'm a little bit sort of less abled today, but uh, hopefully it's fine. I hope, I'm sure you don't mind me looking a bit strange, but yeah, oh, over the shoulder, one out, one in. Oh, I'm scared about a nip slip. My nipple keeps like popping out. I'm like, no, say. Don't be a dirty little slut. So yes, today we are back for some more TikTok piercing fails. So thank you to everyone who does send me everything to react to over on TikTok. Come follow me on TikTok. Come and give me some loves. Come send me things to react to it. Maybe something you send me could be in the next video. But as always, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. But just before we beat around the bush atelier, I'm very excited to announce that I have a sponsor for this video. Woo! I know we don't get many sponsors very often, but we've got a sponsor today. Hooray! Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. So Surfshark is an app and browser extension that keeps you safe online by masking your IP and encrypting your online data. So as someone who is self-employed, I take my job very <laughs> around with me wherever I go. So I'm constantly like working in cafes, working in like libraries, working in like shops and everything. Like anywhere I go, my job comes along with me. But of course with doing this, it means I am vulnerable to a lot of hackers as I I am using open public Wi-Fi's a lot, but with Surfshark VPN, it does mean I am safe online to do so. Another thing I do love about Surfshark is the fact that you have unlimited uses, so you're not just restricted to one app or one device. And alongside the VPNs, you can also get Surfshark alerts, which scans your emails and tells you about any data breaches that you may have had. And that's not even getting into the exciting part of being able to unlock so much media from across the world that is actually region locked. I'm sure most of us, like myself, has been on the plate, like been on a website, you're trying to watch a video and it suddenly just comes up with a message saying, This is locked in your region, you can't watch it. Well, not anymore, Bish. They have over 100 countries within their servers. So just change your location to a different country and you can watch content from across the world. Me, for example, I'm obsessed with Drag Race, like I'm sure a lot of you are. I'm currently watching through the Swedish variety, so I've changed my location to Sweden and I can now watch the Swedish Drag Race on SVT. And if you're someone who's a little bit unsure about using a VPN, have absolutely no fear because they do have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you would like to check out Surfshark and open up a world of content and keep yourself safe online, I do have a link in the description. And if you use my code ROLY, you get an exclusive Surfshark deal plus three months extra for free. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, Surfshark. I appreciate it. And of course, I'm sure everyone loves, we love a good sponsor deal, girls, but let's not beat around the bush atelier and get on with this TikTok piercing <gasps> fail. Okay, so what Can is this? belly buttons with us? <laughs> Okay, so this is the belly button piercing that I got from myself. Oh, and God, the piercing um, their own belly button. Hang on. This is the one that she got. And we got these needles to use. So, yeah. Oh okay, we have a first aid kit and we've got these gloves on. Wait! This is what they're going to use to pierce their. That has to be a joke. Okay, if they're actually serious, there is something seriously wrong. You in danger, girl. That is, look how thick, look how thick those, look how thick those sewing needles are. Like, that is, what? I'm sorry. What? I'm TikTok covering it so down. TikTok doesn't take it down. Okay, don't, okay. what are you Wait, doing? Sorry, this is, okay, so doing it. She's oh my God, the, they're actually, you, are you, are you, are you <laughs> absolutely not. I'm sorry. This is next level derangement. Oh, so you're going to die. Update the piercing didn't fit. I'm gonna get them professionally tomorrow after. Oh, because the piercing didn't work. That that was n that was sorry. That was next level derangement. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I feel sick. That is, that's some, that was something else. I don't even know how to respond. I don't even know what to say or respond to that. Like, what am I supposed to say? What am I supposed to say to that? I mean, that's just natural selection. What? Okay, so what is it? So she screams so loud, it cuts my sound off. Oh, we're we about to see the most. <laughs> <laughs> I see that needle. Oh, 
Oh god. It's I clamps, it. baby. See it it's clamps. clamps. That look like it hurt even more. Just, just I have zero patience with people like this. Don't come out crooked. Yeah, I can't take the fifty. I can take the fifty. That's up to you. I'm scared. He said, Let's not move. I'm pretty really scared. <laughs> oh, see, I just. Oh my god, you have like a different I have oh, zero you're patience. Scared, like my, my pa you what? My <laughs> <laughs> Your partner? You partner ain't even in here. <laughs> my level of pain is like really, really low. Like a pinch would kill me. <laughs> Well, I have zero. Under, I have please. zero patience. Is that gonna hurt? No, lay down. You promise. Lay, promise, lay down. You promise. You're not yeah. <laughs> lay down. The thing is, no, I feel like with people like this, it's a liability because, like, if they're acting like this before anything's happened, as it's happening, the amount no, of yeah, things yeah, that could go wrong because they might suddenly go like this and be like, no, and really, like, really hurt themselves. Like, I don't. If someone was acting like this, I would instantly be like, get out because you're a liability and I can't trust myself piercing you because you might you do something so poorly yeah. or jolt that could, we could really mess your body up. Wait, wait, hold on, hold my hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, put this leg all the way down. Oh, so. the there one. we go. Yep, the Just close your eyes, baby. You're good. Oh, wait, 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 what the f- Wait, y'all didn't say- Ow! Oh, wait, it's a pinch. It's a pinch, that's it. Oh. I just, I, yeah, I, just, I don't have pain. I just don't have the patience. I'm surprised this person's actually piercing her, to be honest. Thank you, get out. At least she didn't jolt. I just feel that's too much of a liability. People like this are too much of a liability. Like if you can't, like if you you can't behave like this. Don't move. Personally, for me, I would not have the patience to 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 do something like this on someone. I just feel like it's a liability. If you're gonna be in a piercing studio and you're gonna get piercings and all that stuff, you have to be composed. Like you cannot be screaming and shouting. And like I said, if this person was to suddenly like get the needle near them and then they were to jolt and scream and jump and go like, ah! Like we've seen a lot of the time where like people have grabbed the piercers. Like she's lying down, maybe she like kicks the piercer or something. And then like the pier the needle like scratches all along your stomach or something. Like there's too many things like this can go wrong. I find it weird that this person actually pierced this girl to begin with anyway after acting like that even before like anything like, before even the clamps were on her she was screaming and jolting i just find it like if personally i'd be like can you leave please if you're not going to be composed i'm not going to do it on you because i don't want something to go wrong because you're jumping around you're saying i should just sit down shut up and wait yes yes this ends up okay but i it's to me it's just not worth the risk and i find it all strange that the person actually pierced this girl in the end but you just can't behave like that you cannot behave like that. If you can't control yourself, don't get a piercing. Like, you cannot behave like this. So, oh, oh, it's a very, very pusatious shot, isn't it? So this person's getting lots of, like, oh, wow. On the other leg, too, the, whoever shot this video needs to bring the camera down. Jesus. So, we're, like, they're getting, like, two sets of heart. Oh, see, I, I just never understand piercing play. I'll just never understand it. I find it so perplexing. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. And look, they had it on their stomach as well, and they've taken it out. Oh, gosh. I'm confused. What I find very strange about this one as well is, as they've done it, look, so they've gone through with the needle, like, through, like, a normal piercing, but they've also then stuck the end of the needle, like, back into the leg, and, like, not come out another side. They've just, like, shoved the needle, like, directly into the leg. Like, why would, like, oh, Why would you do that? I will just never understand piercing play. That is something that I just, it seems so perplexing to me. I just don't get it. So I, I would just never understand. I would never understand. So if what you're into, fine. But I always stick by what I say from the very beginning, and you can call me boring, call me old. I just think it's wasteful. I just think it seems wasteful, because you can't use these needles again now. You've got to throw them all away. Like, I just find it wasteful. Do lighten up. But you can, if you look up here, you can see them like along the stomach where it's left marks. Like, I don't know how much this stuff will scar because they're kind of like relatively not, they're not thin, thin needles, but they're also not really thick ones. Like the thicker the needle, the bad the marks got to be afterwards. Is this what it's going to look like on you? If, like, is this actually scars here? Like, is this what it's going to look like on the legs too? Like, to me, it's just not worth it. Okay, so what is, oh, okay. Oh, piercing roulette still. Piercing, people are still doing piercing roulette after all this time. So, wait. What's the point of doing piercing roulette if you're just gonna have him do, you know? Oh god, that was a bit aggressive. Jesus, was like, die! I want you. That was personal. He was like, you cheated on me with Boris. Now you're dead. She's dead. That 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 that, that felt personal. That was like there was like actual like hatred in that pushing. Then as a. Anyway, um, before I go down conspiracy theory holes, piercing roulette still. But what I find funny is like he's doing this. She's doing piercing roulette look though. Like doing la la la. But he's just like, nah, we're just going to do a nose piercing anyway. Don't care either. Like, what's the point of doing piercing roulette if like, if we just, 
<laughs> They'd already planned just to do the nose piercing. That felt personal. That was personal. He was like, you bitch. <laughs> piercing roulette. God, one of the things that got my channel to blow up back in the day. Piercing roulette. Zap. Okay, so what is this? So one of my clients came in and showed me this video after I redid her piercing. Oh, they're just like in the park or something. Like, oh, why? Oh. <gasps> oh. Wait, where's the needle going? What's with the f- Oh, that's cartilage. Like, that's like proper like in the middle. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, and the video- Oh no, but what happens right- what, what- I wanna watch the rest of the video. I wish I could see the rest of the video. So, oh wow, look at the force that she's using to try to push this through. She's like, really like, go. But where's the needle going? It's like, you're like pushing through the center cartilage surely by this point, like, wow. And then look at the force. Oh no. Oh, that was like, oh, that was like almost giving her Nazalang piercings. What was she trying to do? Absolutely not, vile. The thing is as well with this, at least sit down. The standing up, at least sit down, sit down. Sit your ass down. Sit, at least sit down, sit down. Sit down and shut up. Or at least squat for Jesus. Jesus was a biscuit. Jesus, Jesus was a biscuit. Jesus loved a good biscuit. Okay, so what is this? Oh, oh, Granny, did your tongue piercing hurt? What's she doing? Oh. No, it didn't hurt. It just pinched. And you can't eat on it for like a week. But baby, I would still go up and like, <laughs> eating everything. Can you pick me up? I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what is this? So, the, oh! oh! Wow, a knee piercing. They've got a piercing above the knee. Oh, wow. I mean, this has to have been like, just like a joke or something. This couldn't have obvious, this has to have been a joke and they've taken it out. Like, can you imagine having a piercing above your knee? That's like, wow. Hello, I don't want my skin anymore. Rip it out, girls. Like, that's not gonna end well. Like, that has to be, that had to be some kind of joke or something. Like, what? A knee piercing? I refuse to believe that that is like some kind of real thing that someone had. You can't fool me. Okay, so what is this? Oh! Oh! This, this. Disgusting! Oh no! I feel sick. This, I mean, I, I don't understand the language. So I'm going to take the order out just because I don't. Oh no! Blowouts, girl. Infections or something. I don't know. That is disgusting. They didn't. They didn't show her taking it out, so I don't know what happened in the end. That's quite possibly one of the most disgusting ear stretch videos I think I've ever seen. Like stretchers. Oh my god! Floppy go go. Okay, so what is. Oh, what? Stuck. Your lip ring got okay. stuck. Oh god. Uh, 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 how, how did it. Where was it stuck? My mum told me not to get it pierced. Wait, that's not your mum, is it? Is it in your teeth? Wait, is that your mum? That's not your mum, is it? You look older than your mum. What? What is it stuck on? Like your teeth? I'm really confused. What, like, what is your piercing stuck on? I'm really confused. Like, what his? What his? Shut up! Stop talking! Oh, it's wife. My lip that was down. his wife. I was like, so. I was like, that wasn't his mum, was it? Jesus Christ! What was his lip ring caught on, though? His. I don't understand what his. Uh, I don't understand what his lip was caught. Like, what was his lip ring caught on, though? Like, what happened? Why is the bar so small? I'm really. That, I'm really confused as to what we just watched or what just happened. Like, ouchy, ouchy, girls. I hope you got it out. But like, what? I'm confused and I need answers. <laughs> okay, so what Look, is? Ooh, oh, oh. <gasps> it's like. Did you like like what happened to get it to there? Did you yank it or something? Get your, you should get your hair out the way. Oh no, the hair! A loose tooth. Like you know when you were a child, you could like twist that tooth all the way around, but it's not ready to come out. What if I just like? Oh! Oh! I hate it! 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 I would never get down with my face. The idea. Still attached. Still wow, just a potato. Like, I can bend it. Oh! I don't think it's supposed to do that. I would just take oh, it into a piercing nice. studio because, like, if scar tissue is formed like around the bar on the inside, you could really f yourself up by taking it out yourself. <gasps> oh no! Oh 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 oh! 
Success. Success girls. Oh no. I would always advise if you want to take out a dermal piercing, please go back to the piercers to do it because you can really screw your like screw your skin up and f your face up or wherever you've got them because of like scar tissue forming around the bar on the inside. You don't want to start ripping things open. Like I would say, always suggest go to an actual piercer and have it removed professionally. Just trying to help. I don't need your help. Okay, so what is ah copyright, copyright music? No, 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 naughty. Okay, sorry, there was copyrighted music. Um, so they're getting a septum pierce. Wait, wait, oh, wait, what? There was no like, wait, what? Oh! What? There was no like marking or anything. It was just like, we're just gonna shove it. That is so low. That is so low. That is so low. That is so, so, oh wow. So low, so low. I didn't win my selection process. This is, oh, wow. That was so low. It was so weird how there was no real kind of like checking as to where that was going. It was just like absolutely. Eh. And then the way that the nose like bent, there was no like other prep. Like what? 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 So low, so low. I got rigged in my selection process because we don't like get A's, get A's. Only a few select people understand what the hell I'm going on about. Go, girl, give us nothing. Ah! <laughs> okay, so oh, oh wow. <gasps> There's more piercing play stuff on their face. Oh no. That's around like the belly button. Oh gosh. That's a lot to do. That must have a lot for your body to handle. Like, like piercing play as well. Like if that's what you want to do as well. Again, it's one of those things like you live your life girl, but like on the face, like on the face, you want to potentially like scar up your whole face. Like, Ow, ow, I reckon like, yeah, live your laugh, girl, but I'll just, I'll just never understand it, especially doing this to your face, like, especially putting all these needles into your face like that, I just, I don't know, oh. Well, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, piercing play, I would just never understand. Okay, so what is, uh, oh, God, and lots of music, oh, that was very sudden. It's always touch, it's always like instantly touching it, so it's like, no, now we're gonna touch it as soon as we just shove a hole through your body, that, that's not good. That's not good, sis, come on, let's stop this now, let's stop the madness. Oh! Ugh. What are they doing, digging into the- wait, what? What? What they- Ew, they're like dig- what? Ugh, what's happening? Oh, that's disgusting. they're like digging into- What is that? What is coming out of the- what is this? What, what the hell is coming out of this person's ear? What the hell is all that? Oh, that's disgusting. How much stuff is coming out of her ear? Oh, oh, how is that? Why would you not just take the piercing out? I don't understand why you wouldn't just take the piercing out because surely the piercing is kind of getting in the way. That's vile. What's happening? Uh, oh my God. How have you got an entire dead body inside your piercing? What big ears you got? How have you still, how is more stuff still coming out? I don't understand how more stuff is still coming out. How is more stuff coming out still? So, <gasps> Oh look, the whole back of it was like lodged inside the ear. Like, oh, that's disgusting. I can't stop, 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 stop. That's team too much. How have you got so much grotesque material inside your ear? How, how has that happened? That is vile. That is absolutely vile, vile, vile. I wish there was some kind of like explanation as backstory as to what the hell just happened. Okay, so what is this? Oh. So this person's getting a sept. Why are you using that? Why are they using those kind of clamps for that piercing? That's not the right clamps to use for a septum piercing. Like what? That's wait. Oh, they didn't show the bar going through. Probably like they probably something went wrong. Oh, that positioning as well. That's really low down. It's really low. Like oh, these kind of clamps are not the right clamps to use for a septum piercing. You want to use like the tube ones. It's like thin. It's like a like a hollow tube. You don't want to use these ones. They're too big. Of course, when you use these kind of clamps, like the place where you pierce is like in the center. But like this is gonna be the center. Like how low down is that gonna be? That's low. That's low. That's really low. You want to use the ones that are like the tubes. So then you would pierce like towards the front, which is where the front of the septum where you would pierce. I don't know why they're using these kind of clamps to do it. Also like, where are they? There's like in some like, um, yeah, here we go. I I'm, I'm trying to pass all this kind of like knowledge off or whatever, but actually like it's being done in like the street. So I don't really know why I'm expecting anything different. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, so what, ew, what's, what's happening? Oh, <gasps> I'm gonna have to blur the rook section because it is absolutely vile. That is, oh no. Oh, look at all the hair like wrapped around the jewelry. Oh no. Ouchie, wouchie. Ouchie, wouchie. So much said ouchies. Ah, 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 ah. S, goats. 
There ain't no hair like a turned up hair that's- Oh, wow. Oh, 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 oh. That must have been painful. Like, that must have been quite painful. I wish I could show you the rook. So I'm kind of skimmed past the rook section, but I it, it looks like foliage. It looks like moss on like a, a brick wall. Do you want to see like any like small towns where everyone like, there's like loads of moss and like the brick walls where it's all sort of marshy area. That is literally like the rook in there. I don't know what the hell is going on in this person's ear, but that rook is just full. It just looks like bright yellow moss. Absolutely disgusting. Again, I'm so glad that I don't have to deal with any kind of hair, so I don't have to have anything wrapped around piercing jewelries or wrapped around anything. Like, uh, just a nice, bald cranium. Uh, uh. Okay, so what is this? This person's going- ah! What? Oh. That, that really like. So I don't know the prop though. I don't know what's happened. So they've got like a replacement ear. So I'm assuming they've lost the ear to something. I don't know what, but so like, I'm not trying to sound insensitive, <laughs> of course, but that took me by surprise. <laughs> Out of anything I thought I was going to see, I didn't think I was going to see that. That really shook me. That really shook me. Oh my God. So what is all oh, sensitive content? Uh, oh no, this piercing was not healed in two years. What? Oh God, you got a huge... The crushes were forming around the ring. She was cut, getting cut every time. Yeah, but don't, maybe not, don't roll it through. Maybe soak it first. I don't know. Like, you're like, when you have crusties and you pull it through, it's so painful. Make sure your piercer uses straight barbell jewelry. Yeah, don't get pierced with co like conch piercing, especially like don't use curved barbells or like rings. Make sure it's like a straight bar. And then when it's healed, you then change it into a curved one or a, well, not, you wouldn't put a curve one in it, but or like a hoop or whatever, whatever you want to put in. Make sure like it's healed first. You can always notice the difference. Yeah, the thing, once you, the once the pressure has been taken off, like the, the difference is like an instant relief. It's like an instant, instant relief when you take off the pressure. But yeah, when you get new piercings, don't pierce with hoops. Make sure you get like a straight bar. Okay, so what is, so what, what's this? Eh, play. Filming this in the middle of the Walmart because I need it. What? Oh, those lip piercings. Wow, those, those lip, like, I mean, get where you want to get piercings. And having like top lip piercing, angel bites, whatever you call them, is fine. But they are, those, those bars are too big. Like, they're too, it's, push, make, it's like pushing your lip out. Hello! <laughs> like, it's, those, those, the bars are too big. Too, like, just make them nice small little balls or something because it's just gonna, that's just, you're just gonna push them out. It's gonna make your pieces reject. The constant pressure of it being pushed like this, it's just gonna make them reject. Like put smaller bars in this, you can actually like close your mouth. Okay, so what is this? This person's getting a nose, they oh, what they, oh, wait, wait, a piercing a day keeps a psychiatrist away. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. We are not entertaining that. No, 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 no. Not a thing that we promote. I want to make something very clear. When you actually suffer from mental health problems and issues, getting piercings is not going to make them disappear. It might make some kind of cause of relief. It might have some kind of like, you know, adrenaline, endorphin release at the time, but it's never going to actually fix the issues that you have in your life. Therapy is incredibly important. And I actually want to I think everyone should go to therapy at some point in their life. Like I, when I was growing up, I went to a, a psychiatrist many times as a kid because of all the shit I went through. Don't do things at home like this just because it's like gonna give you some kind of relief. It's not gonna fix the issues that you need to actually fix. So please, your mental health is so important and messages like that, I don't care who's doing it, is bad. Do not in any way, shape or form, take that kind of information seriously. Okay, so what is this? So what piercing hurt them? Oh, wow, look at that the nose. Most, the most painful piercing I've had is a... Uh, oh, it's, it's wing it. it is the apodravia. And to save you the horror of Googling that... Oh, God, I, I know what diagram. that is. It's vertically Can down through the top, the bottom so of the penis. All the piercings I have. So these are all of the uh, piercings um, he... Oh, what? Right here. I got nine this way. He has that's nine. That's called Jacob's Ladder. This one right here, that's one. That is called the Prince Albert. And this one right here, straight through, is the Opera Drop. Oh, wow. That's a lot of piercings to have on your penis! Penis! I'm mentally picturing what this must look like, but you've got nine, pe you've got nine piercings on the bottom half, like underneath the shaft. 
and then a Prince Albert piercing, and then the piercing that goes from the top, to, I can't pronounce the word, but the, from the top to the bottom, all the way through. Like, I just feel, I just, like, if that's what you want, live your laugh, girl. But I just think it must be a nightmare to piss. Like, your piss must just spray everywhere. If that's what you want, wonderful. I personally think that's a fucking nightmare. But ouchie wouchie, girls, I could never. No one asked you, bitch. I could never, 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 never. Never, ever, ever gonna get my penis pierced. Was that All Saints? No. Atomic Kitten. Sugar babes. They're all the same, basically, weren't they, back in the day? Okay, so what? Oh, for God, not. I said I wasn't gonna do any more of these. Wait, why are you. Why? So they're piercing it with a rusty. That was quick! What? I don't, like, what? What? So we're gonna put all this, like, jank jewelry in and then go, ah, I don't know why the piercings are wrong. Let's all take. Oh, I hate. These noises are foul. I just don't know who this is for. Who is. I will just never understand who this is for. Like, who is this for? Not me. No, don't clean the jewelry. Get rid of it. Get, you wouldn't, get rid of the jewelry. Get new jewelry if you're gonna put it. Sure, why not? Oh, it's just disgusting. I just don't understand, right, though, why they were like, oh, we're gonna pierce you with this, like, disgusting jewelry. What we, I don't understand, like, what the point they were trying to make. What? I don't know how that is relaxing to anyone. How was that relaxing to anyone? How was AS, how was that relaxing to anyone? I don't understand, girl. Okay, so what is, oh, <sighs> music, hang on, this music. No, 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 be quiet. Oh, God. Do you know what would, be, would have been easier? It would be easier if you didn't hold the phone up. Like, you might be able to clean it easier if you weren't trying to film it as well. I just don't understand why you would use those kind of, that instrument to clean this. Like, that, just soak the piercing first, soften it all up, and just get a Q-tip. It would have been so much easier. I'm just really confused why I would use crocodile forceps to, like, try to get this. The, there were just many other simpler ways to try to clean this than doing what you're doing. I don't understand, like, why you're doing it in this way. But, yeah, that, that was... Please clean your piercings, guys. Please clean your piercings. Okay, so what is this? The point of you have a new piercing. Ow. Oh, oh it's other people as well. You gotta look. Yes. Yeah, very relatable. I can also relate quite a lot with the hair one at the end. When I use a hairbrush, oh my god. Pandemonium girls. Yeah, I think sometimes it can actually be really, like, it's most annoying when other people do something. I remember years ago when I had the back of my neck pierced, it was absolutely fine. And someone I knew jumped, like, jumped on my back, not thinking, and it caught, like, their shoulder caught onto my neck piercing. And actually made it really angry for weeks. And I was like, for fuck. What is he doing? It can be really annoying with other people. But yeah, I, I would definitely, like now not so much because like I've had so many piercings. Like I'm so used to getting a new piercing in the process. But back in the early days, when I first getting piercings and you're not used to them a lot of the time, it can be so frustrating. Like you just kind of get used to having something there and you're not going, ow, ow, ow. I'm actually saying that when I got my nipples pierced, that was one that I kind of had to get used to having there. I don't have them anymore because it was just annoying, but definitely having like a like a piercing in that area and I was not used to anything being there. The amount of times I would just like catch it on things. Awful! Yeah, I love my nipple piercings. I think they looked cool, but I will never do that again. Okay, so what is this? So letting my friends pierce my seconds. Oh, God. a cat! Kitty, we're the cat! <laughs> so, oh God. The piercer, wonderful. I'm sure they're very qualified. A potato. Oh, God, because that's going to be clean. Like, wh why? I mean, it's, at first I've seen people use a potato for it, sure. A potato? Sure, why not? I mean, it's, yeah, it's the first time I've seen someone use a potato. Normally someone's like a lemon or an orange because that's... Uh, okay, so what is... Oh, my God, I feel so bad for my client. Oh, wow. <gasps> Look at those bumps. Her piercing have been irritated for over a year. A year? It took her a year to do something about it. What? A year? She was pierced three times with all the wrong jewelry. Jeez, yeah. Curved barbells and that. That's not it, sis. That's that's not it, sis. Get a straight one. As, as is your earlier on with the hoop. Immediately remove them and hope we can still be saved. The, the bumps are quite big to try to save them, though. But, I mean, you, ugh, the possibility... Soaking them, girl. She's being soaked. Super soaker. I loved a super soaker when I was younger. I switched them all straight barbers and had them, yeah, bath salt. Yeah, salt bath. I mean, they might be safe, but those bumps are big. 
I do wonder why people wait, like, um, the thing is, I keep remember the American, American health system is so effed up, like, it's so much money, like, but then that was a piercing studio, so, like, even just going back to a piercing, letting them look at it, like, is it a, an option that I don't think is going to cost you, like, a sh ton compared to, like, going to the hospital, but, like, yeah. Please do your research, who you're going to, please do your research. So, what, wait, what, wait, what, cleaning my room and finding a potato with a nipple ring that I forgot a couple of months... Ew! I thought it was like a frog! Oh, ah, wait, 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 it's pause. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. So they, this nip, this potato is kind of merged with the floor. Ah, it, I find potatoes so weird that if you keep them in like a, like a cool, maybe like cool, warm place, they'll start to sprout. Like, oh, it kind of makes me really cringe. I hate seeing like sprouting potatoes, but they've, they've, they put a nipple piercing on it. And I thought this was like a frog. This is some like alien looking like, tsh, right here. Alien! Hey, the black alien project is shook! Oh my god, it's sprouting! Oh, it's disgusting. I thought it was like a frog. I thought it was like some sort of frog on the floor. Oh, it's creepy. Eh, ribbit, bitch. Well, guys, I'm well and truly aboard that trigger train. Choo choo, speeding down the railway, about to crash off a cliff and plunge to my death. Bab it! Oh, squat for Jesus! Don't forget, Jesus loves a good peach. Oh, I hope you're all squatting with me. Oh, Jesus was a bottom. Oh, Jesus loved a good peach. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. I have, uh, I'm in a very strange mood today. I think, honestly, just I'm a bit sort of like my body's a bit tired from the tattoo work so my body's a bit kind of like no what's going on uh, but thank you so much for watching today's video thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and as I said there's a link down below go check that out get some nice discounts girl please hit the like button subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming out very soon today's Twitch shout out goes to KermitFan666 oh devil Kermit thank you for following me over on Twitch if you would like to be in with a chance being with this tech next Twitch shout out come follow Follow me over on Twitch, it's Relly West. We do multiple streams a week, reacting, there's some gaming, there's a mix of everything, but at the moment we're focusing on reaction, like live reactions. So come over, come join the fun. A massive shout out to my lovely Patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here. Thank you for being a Patreon, you guys are delicious. But an extra special shout out to my top tier Patreons. Amy Hudson, Rishi, Amanda, Miranda Hart, Athena Barrington, Erin Grace, Jenna Beth Herman, Zoe Severe, Heather McFarland, Christina Kyle, Benjamin Baker, I at Robin Scott Palmer, Corin Pemberton, Bethard, Steffi Tech, Caitlin Wright, Kelly Bowser, Shell Herman, and Chloe Louise. Thank you for being my top tier Patreons. You guys are delicious. But anyway, be fabulous, be amazing, be gay, be everything you want to be, and don't let any bitch of this say that you can't be you. Why is that? Because you are flawless, girl. Ah!